welcome back to another Tiffany Outdoors vlog. Y'all, it is blazing hot out there. Joe and I just finished a project that we were just, by the end, we were both just done. We were done. It is so blazing hot. It must be, what, 96? I don't know. My watch doesn't tell me that information. It's, it's <laughs> in the 90s. It, it is hot. We are just like, oh my God, let's hurry up. Will this project ever end? <laughs> and then we were moving as slow as molasses. <laughs> yeah, it's like our bodies were like shutting down and we couldn't move fast. We're like moving in slow motion. <laughs> oh, but now we are showered. We're going out for some ice cream. Not ice cream. We can't have ice cream. We're going out for frozen yogurt. <laughs> oh, oh, Joe's driving. Yes. <laughs> you think? Hundred degrees. It's a hundred degrees. Whew. Project is fun. Um. I really enjoy doing projects with Joe because we get out there, we laugh and giggle and act silly and stuff. So it's I like fun. doing them with you because you're very patient with me. Because I know that, you know, I probably would be like, here, just let me do it. Just just let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> On the inside, I do want to do that. But at the same time, I, I don't want to take the learning experience or the experience away from you because if I do that then you never will get a chance to learn how to use like power tools and stuff so how fair or fun would that be for you if I did that all the time that is true that is so true. yeah so a lot of times what I would do was um I would give her a tool and I said especially like with the framing square and it can get confusing I, I used to get confused with it a lot until I started using it a lot more and got more comfortable with it and knew how to use it but when you're first starting out you struggle a little bit so I handed her the framing square we were getting ready to mark a line and I said I'm gonna let you struggle for a little bit you tell me when you want me to help you so sometimes you just gotta try and figure things out yourself and I had to do it so we all start from somewhere so just just new a new beginner learning how to use power tools and a lot of these power tools you need a lot of strength to push the push the screws in and and know how to hold it so it's not jumping off the screw and stuff so it's a it's a learning process you need strength to need dough and stuff too but it's a different kind of strength. Yeah, too. yeah, different motion. That is true. So Joe has challenged me to a kitchen thing. She thinks I don't know how to do kitchen stuff, but I do. I'm not saying that you don't know how, but like my KitchenAid mixer, you've never used it. So it would be interesting to have you make some of the things that I make, like make butter, make, make pasta using my KitchenAid mixer. You know, just different things that, you know, you never made. That's true. That is true. So we should do a collaboration video and have me in the kitchen making pasta. I love her homemade pasta. That pasta that you make with the, the spinach yes. and the lemon. Oh yeah, that's so good. Oh, oh my God. was so good. We should do that. We should do that. Okay, you so. Know what? I want to get a get a cutter that will cut. I need to check either on Walmart or Bed Bath & Beyond because I want to get, I don't have a pasta maker so everything is done by hand. I mean, literally the rolling out of the dough, the cutting of the pasta, all of it is by hand. And yeah, it's all by hand. Even when she cuts the pasta, what do you use, a pizza, a pizza cutter? Yeah. Yeah, a pizza cutter. So each strand of pasta is individually cut so it's it's time consuming it really is and um i think that would be a fun video for me to for us to reverse roles <laughs> I think <it's> like, <clears throat> oh, so yeah we'll do that not just a regular pasta either but you know i've gotten now into adding vegetables in my pastas yeah <laughs> i was thinking of making a spinach pasta next okay we can do it so stay tuned for that I don't know when that's gonna happen but 
We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So that thing is set up. It's going. So first thing that's gonna show up is ants, then flies, gnats, or fruit flies, and then the black soldier flies will come, and then they will totally take over, and the flies will leave, the ants will leave, and yeah, then they'll do their thing. So, all right, we're gonna go get us some ice cream and cool down. We'll come back, get in chill mode. I think I'm gonna play some Fallout. Joe will probably watch some Sim or play some Sims. Watch some Sims. My brain is fried. My skin feels like it feels like it's about to dry up and crack. Probably because I just got out of the shower and I didn't put on any lotion or moisturizer afterwards like I normally do, but. I'm really wanting this ice cream or our frozen yogurt. We're going to Sweet Frog. That's one of my favorite, favorite places because it's got the non-dairy stuff, so yum. All right. All right, y'all. I'm going to let you guys go. No, I'm going to let me go and get my stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.